I believe in communications high school. I believe it has helped my future. I used four years of my life here, along with the 66 other members. My friends, your family. Too bad for the other 10 that left, they just led to their own demise. But I've come here with some disconcerting news about the state of our family. The other day I was walking through our base and I saw two of our members talking at their lockers, talking about how they couldn't wait to leave, how they couldn't wait to go to that crap called college. What nonsense is in their heart? We can't let the state of our family die like this. I've wept because they can't weep. What do you propose we do? No, we can't just force them all to go to Brookdale. Why don't we, uh, have a dinner for them? Excuse me, sir? A dinner? Yeah, a party. A dinner party. Well, with all due respect, sir, after that stunt Joe Durgan tried to pull with posting that party on the BBS... No, not that type of party. Listen, you come for my help, I'm giving you my advice. You give them good food, you give them good music, you give them recognition, they're happy. No, no, I have an offer you can't refuse. Make them a video about their time here. Bring them back to their roots, to their family. We'll show it at the dinner. Now, if you excuse me, you shall be on your way. You know, this was a good idea, boss, this video. Yeah, it'll be good for everyone to remember. Yeah, remember freshman year? The start of it all. 80 friends, one family. Let me tell you, those were the days. I miss them. I remember Thompson Park. We had to sit on everyone's lap. I think that's what started the bond. Thompson Park, we played a lot of those cheesy get to know you icebreakers. Um, we did some sort of activity where we stood in a circle and like had to name each other's names or something. And Jamie Etienne said that he was Jamie Jalps like jalapenos and I tried to say Jamie Jalps like nine times and I was crying laughing for like two minutes straight and it wasn't funny and Jamie made a point to tell me it wasn't funny. I remember we just kind of played like frisbee and we did an activity where we walk on these big wooden and jump things and doing that thing where we all sit on each other in a circle. I think the beginning was probably the most awkward moment for everyone because no one really knew anyone and you didn't really know how to approach different people or how to like start friendships. Awkward moments would probably have to be the lap sit. I'm pretty sure everyone remembers that. Um, I had to sit between that kid Ben that left like two weeks after school started and Jeff Durgan. I thought that game was like fun because I think it made people like feel more comfortable with each other and it made everyone laugh. And I think the pictures were really funny and after Thompson Park everyone was talking about it being like, oh you sat on her lap. So I think it was fun. It was an amazing experience. First of all, it's athletic somewhat <laughs> and nothing else here is that athletic at all. And well, it's fun. It also has uh, art and stuff like that. So I guess it goes with everyone. Everyone has something to do. So it's a fun day. I remember sophomore year, I was eating some watermelon and watching some event. And after I finished the watermelon, I like, threw it on my shoulder. And I think like, Abby and someone else was like taking pictures with, like, with a school camera and I nailed them with the watermelon. It's an almost an all day, it's half day thing, field day, everyone gets really excited about it. Even if they don't think they're going to be excited, they will be. What's wrong? You look confused. Um, yeah. I was doing research for our sophomore year and I don't remember anything. Really? Really. I feel like nothing happened. I just remember feeling awkward. Yeah, I remember that Winter Garden catchphrase. It was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Wintry Garden and all your friends are going to be there. It's basically the most opportunity you get to get dressed up besides prom. In terms of 
the semi-form of dance, yeah. it's one of the school's yeah. biggest events. Yeah. And it's nice that you get to put it on as a sophomore because then you get a little taste of success. I mean, nobody came to the Valentine's Day dance. Nobody. I don't think I was even there. <laughs> Dressed up and we stayed through. We were all excited about it because it was ours. We To be or not to be, that is the question. Hey Maddie, what brought you here? Well Don, I was doing some preliminary research, and many of the visual communication students do not want to interview. What? The artists and graphic designers? Well you see, through my calculations, I've discovered that more than half our grade are taking this class and going into this field. I'm afraid we'll have a revolt on our hands. You know, we gotta let them do what they want to do. We can't just force them not to. How would you like it if somebody made you take Cisco? They won't revolt. Remember, 67 friends, one family. Anyway, I gotta go recite my Shakespeare. Thanks for coming. Um, there was a lot of good memories from Mr. Klein's class. I really can't think of a best memory. Probably just all his little jokes that he did. I was kicked out of Mr. Klein's class at least once uh, for uh, insubordination or something like that. Well, I am personally mentoring Mr. Klein because I'm going to Rutgers Business School, so I feel like I can learn a lot from the man, the myth, and the legend. So me and Demers creeped into his room, and he was in the back. They were doing—they were just like looking at old magazines and stuff. So Klein's in the back, and we can see any of us. I then crawled around the rest of the students and went under his desk and just crawled and laid in his desk. <laughs> Sits down and I'm under his desk and he pulls in and his knees are like in my face. And, uh, and then while he's still like sitting at the desk, his knees are in, he like moved for a second. I knew I wasn't going to get out, and so I had to do it. I crawled out with him still legs in under the desk, crawled out of his desk and walked out and just like stood up behind him and he had no idea. I stood up directly behind him, against flat against the wall. He had no idea it was under there that I left, that I brushed up against him. He had no idea. It was a great class. They both were. He's a great teacher, and I love having him. My Mr. CHS experience was pretty fun. I dressed up as Superman. Pretty good experience, you know, fun. All the guys come together. Went on a little performance. It was horrible because it got robbed. I got the title robbed from me. I should have won. Man, I'm still pissed about that. Uh, well, for one, I decided to do it just because I thought it would be funny seeing my big you know what in tights. And I, it took me like, it took me like one whole day at Sam's house with her and Caitlin after they learned it to teach me. And then just other rehearsals during lunch. Definitely, we had a, we had a lot of great acts over the years, and it was, it was really fun to be a part of. New York was really fun. I really liked Wicked. Um, it was actually my second time seeing it, but I definitely thought that this time was better. So, we go into um, Toys R Us, and we find these packs of water gum, like, like for a dollar. It was fantastic. like little tiny pocket squirter. So we buy a couple packs of those, we all go to like the bathroom and fill them up. So we're, then we leave Toys R Us and we're walking down the streets of uh, Times Square with them like at our sides, just shooting them at people like up or at them and just in the sleeves in the sleeve sleeve. and shoot at people. So we went to Eminem World, that was fun, we're all over there. We went to like the big Toys R Us. We went to basically where everywhere everyone goes. Bus ride home. We pulled up next to a bus and I was being my obnoxious self and I was waving at some chick on another bus, and she ended up putting her phone number up. No, I, I, I think it was me. And she ended up texting me and asking me to go to her prom, her senior prom, which was the next year. And it was a really nice day, so we got really lucky that it didn't rain or anything. 
overall. Yeah. We just say it was a fun trip. <laughs> I must speak to you. Yeah, as soon as I beat this Charmander. What seems to be the problem? Well, you see, there seems to be something dangerous affecting our class. What do you mean? What is it? It's something called senioritis. What? What do you mean? Well, it's a thing that's been going around. It's make everyone lazy. They just don't want to do anything anymore. It's hurting our, our reputation. Hurt our reputation? We got someone going to Harvard next year, and it's June. I don't think anyone really cares right now. But sir... Tom, thanks for your concern, but it's no big deal. Uh, well, the video was created because I did a project in web design about a fake band called Fabulous Gorilla, or Fab G. And then when we completed the project, the next period I was talking to the buds about it and we were kind of it was a kind of a cool idea and then we were just like yo let's ride. we were doing nothing in yeah, animation class like <laughs> I don't suck you'll be a noob you're writing your stuff on the paper like a screw I don't know what that word meant but I made it up so you gotta take it and bring it home let's think about it what it means I don't know making it up as I go cause I'm a champ all you know the best part of making the video was probably eating the tons of cookies I had that day. In like a span of like two days, I had like 40 cookies. Part of making the video is thinking of how funny it's going to look when we finally <laughs> edit it. And then it really kind of didn't, no, it wasn't it didn't really, turn out as well as no, I wanted it to. Because we kind of had no structure whatsoever. No, we, we thought we were going to be YouTube sensations. Yeah. But yeah, we, we thought weren't. it was going to be like crazy awesome. Nothing in the school is like a normal high school, so. <laughs> like that, see, like, come on. You can't, you can't compare a normal high school and a school or anything. I think I'll take away a lot of really good friends that I made over the past four years, and a lot of experience in different digital things, like learn how to use cameras, and Photoshop and Illustrator, and those are all good skills to have learned. The people. No, definitely just the people. Um, I guess the environment, because it's just chill, and as much as there's people, you're like, okay, I'm sick of seeing you. Everyone's buddies when they need to <laughs> I will miss most from CHS, my friends and my teachers. No, I think we're a good class. Um, we've had some sketchy classes go through here, I feel like, but I feel like as a group, we're a bunch of good kids, we're going to be successful in what we do, and we're all pretty close, which is cool. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs>